we are told to find the y-intercept of the line that goes through the points 1, 3, and 4, 9. So we have two points here, 1, 3, let's see, that's right here, 1, 1, 2, 3, and then 4, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, right about here. So we're told that a line goes through these two points, something like this. And we want to know what is the y-intercept of this line. In other words, where does the line cross the y-axis right here? So we can see just by creating this line that it appears to cross the y-intercept somewhere in this region. So to find this exact value, here's what we can do. We can write the equation of the line in the form y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope of the line and b is the y-intercept. So this b is really what we want to find. So to do that, we first have to find m, the slope of the line. So that's calculated as y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So if we label our points right here, 1, 3, let's say this is x1 and y1, and the second coordinate pair, this can be x2 and y2. So if we plug in the values that we know right here, we have y2 minus y1, so 9 minus 3, so let's write that, 9 minus 3, over x2 minus x1, so 4 minus 1. So 4 minus 1. So we get 9 minus 3 is 6, over 4 minus 1 is 3, 6 divided by 3 is 2. So we have y equals 2x plus b. Now to solve for b, to figure out what b is, we just need to plug in the x and y values of either one of these points. It doesn't matter which one we choose. So let's just pick this first coordinate pair right here. We'll say 1 and 3. So we'll plug in a 3 for y is equal to 2 times, we'll plug in a 1 for x. So 2 times 1 plus b. And now we need to solve for b. So we get 3 is equal to 2 times 1 is 2, plus b. If we subtract a 2 from each side, we see that 1 is equal to b. So as our final answer, we can write y-intercept is equal to 1. When x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. Or if we wanted to write it as a coordinate pair, we could write y-intercept is equal to 0, comma, 1. So we can see that this point, 0, 1, that's right about here, that does look like that is right where that line crosses through the y-axis. So that would be the y-intercept of this line.